All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform, where they give a back-to-back -back update on how things they be or how to they share it for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Yes, my people, also remember to like and share this news and so my people if you've been following us up on every single thing that has been happening now uh, the biafra resistant fighters yes my people the bla uh, that particular set of people the trained squad that we know of once again have done the most yes as i'm talking to you right now my people they have engaged those same set of people that killed the priest recently in enugu if you can remember if you've been following us you would remember and you would have uh, the idea of what i'm talking to you about people what i'm telling you right now is that this same set of people have been uh, have been engaged by the biafra by the biafra liberation army biafra resistance fighters and they followed up immediately to go and charge these same people to take them down with immense uh, uh, immense alacrity because that is what they do that is what the biafra liberation army do that is what the biafra resistance fighters do and i'm telling you at this point that they have done the same thing they are not going back they are not slacking at any point in time one thing is this they are always ready for when they will be able to do the most and that is why we actually put our trust in them that is why we always once in a while trust in them this particular news i'm bringing to you it is stayed straight from the PMB LGI is Simon Eba Njoku. It is not a news that I bring on my own. Every single news that I drop here, my people, every single thing I record to you is what I bring from PMB LGI is Simon Eba to you people to make you understand that uh, the people that think that they will be able to take us down the nigerian terrorists they are failing woefully in it because once in a while once they think that they will be able to like take down people that are on our side of their friends or innocent people innocent evil people one way or another we get them back they face the consequences of their actions with immediate effect because we are not people that are used to giving up we are not people that wake up in the morning and decide not to do the need to no. We are people that have decided to stand our ground no matter what these people throw against us. And at this particular point, this is what we are bringing you. We are not here to, 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 to make you underthink or, or, or think about any other thing. We understand, we are letting you know that the rate of things at this particular point is what we are bringing you. And it is the, the biggest of it all. It is one thing that we have not or we will not let let's let's go and thank god for the pm for doing the needful because of course the pm has been doing his own part by making sure that these things are done properly that these things are being taken note of because of course these people think that one way or another they will be able to escape most of the things they do but i'm here to let you know that no you see these things that these people do they would surely we are not that face the consequences of their actions and that is the truth of the matter we are not people that wake up in the morning and decide not to do um, do nothing when I'm facing a whole lot of things no we are people that have decided to actually take action when things like this happen when 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 we see our own brother and we make moves to make sure that we ourselves feel safe at the end because that is what taking action means because when these people find out that we are They would understand that no matter what they do or if they think they would they are able to like take us out then they they have they have something wrong going because we are a set of people that cannot give up quickly we are a set of people that are not stationed to just mess around or misbehave at any point in time we are people that are always dead fast and people the ideology we've had right from time whenever it comes to anything that concerns the biafra movement is so deep we are not people that uh, 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 that are moved or tossed about this ideology this 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 sense this zeal we've had right from time is something we are going to take to our grave because we are very much determined to make sure that these people feel the wrath of whatever it is they've done to us my people we've been slaughtered a lot we've been we've been killed a lot and that is the truth of the matter these people have done a whole lot of things to us and one way or another we found a way to like forgive them or to do something about it that does not but no 
at this particular point when the PM came and after the, the, the arrest of Mazen Nam Dekano, yes, we found a way to get back at them for every single thing they've been doing. And that's the truth of the matter. We were once all talking, we were once all about uh, talking and trying to make them understand that these things they are doing or that we need our Biafra freedom. But no, they've always decided to do whatever it is that is on their head or in their head. But uh, at this particular point, we need not to talk too much again. We need not to keep talking because talking does not serve it. We've come to understand that talking does not even solve this particular issue and we are going to do it our own way. And that's the truth of the matter. At this particular point, we not doing what is expected of us. We ourselves not uh, realizing that most of the times what they do or what they've decided to do in their, for themselves or for against us is just to stain our name and to make people think that everything we've been working for is just bad and that's exactly what people, th people think generally a whole lot of people think generally that the pm simon Eber has just been doing bad or everything he has been doing is wrong or so many so many other things that they've been talking about pm simon Eber doing and it's just to hold down the name of Biafra, to hold down the, the, the movement of Biafra, to stop whatever it is that would cause the movement of Biafra. But my people, I'm here to let you know that nothing of such is going to work out. Nothing of such is going to end. Uh, we are not going to end. The passion we already have, the passion we already have for this particular movement is starstruck. We are not going to bend down. We are not going to let anything at all pull us down. At any point in time, we are always going to continue to start. The fact that we have the BLA with us, the Biafra Liberation Army, the fact that we have the Biafra Navy also with us. We have Biafra separatists every single play. And they are working tirelessly to work hard. We have a, a, a Holy Ghost commander. We have a, a, a Commander Jen to every single one of them working towards the good of Biafrans, the good of Biafra and the good of, of coming to the good of um, the coming of Biafra movement and that is the secret that is what we hold dear that these people do not know that we hold to ourselves what we cannot let anybody uh, 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 have against us, what we, we cannot let anybody take from us this particular zeal and this particular uh, 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 passion is what differentiates us from normal regular Igbo people in the Igbo that are that can be swayed by what people every other person does and we cannot be let down we cannot let ourselves be pushed around or tossed about by the sea or by what uh, people come around and say but then we should have in mind that this fight is a fight for our lives and it's either we do it or we do it we are not going to stop we are not going to stop we cannot stop and that is the truth of the matter we ourselves stopping is like saying that we are not there uh, we do not think or we are we are giving up that means we are giving up on every particular person that has lost his or her lives in the quest we are giving up on the people that lost their lives in back in uh abia state in abba during the whole python dance era and the rest of it the people that they slayed they killed just because of the movement we are not giving up and uh, if they think as much if they have any the the, the simplest of thoughts thinking that uh, we are going to give up then that means they have the wrong mindset about us and they do not know what we are capable of we are capable of what a whole lot and that is the truth of the matter we are capable of a whole lot and we are going to make it that is the truth we are going to make it. We are going to make sure that we get what we want. And what we want is nothing else but Mazin and the Kano. The release of Mazin and the Kano. And the release of Mazin and the Kano. And the freedom we've been asking for. Recently, they struck out the lawsuit concerning we ourselves getting our, our, our referendum. But then it is not going to be it is not going to be something that will hold us down. No, it's not. It's just going to be one of the things that will make us go harder and put in more effort than we've already been putting. And that is the truth of the matter. We cannot let whatever propaganda that they've been bringing up stop us. We are people that have decided in our innermost of hearts to go hard and we are not going to stop. My people, this is what it is. If you're a Biafra, wherever you find yourself and you are you you are sure you want the movement to take place, you are sure you want us to stay different and keep moving. We won't let whatever it is stop us. I'm, and I'm here reminding you that whatever it is that happens, have it in mind that you must keep going further. You must uh, 
you must uh, uh, keep working harder because the situation of the country at this particular point it would be giving a whole different uh, a whole different season or a whole different meaning but then it is expected that uh, you should not give up you should not stop doing what you are known for you should not stop doing anything at all that has been that has been expected of you and with that we be friends will survive and that is the truth we should do the need for I will survive. So yes, my people, this is where we've come to the end of this particular podcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.